Welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we are installing our first charger point. That could be three and a half grand you're waiting on for 10 weeks. You haven't seen a drill bit anywhere, have you? Don't want posts now, he's let us know. So we've got a bit more armour cable than we need. You could be waiting 10, 12 weeks to get paid. We are now going to install it here and by we, I mean man like Ellis. We've also got a surge protector, and as you may have heard, my phone has already rung once, so I better go do my reception duties. So three of us went through and passed the charging course at the weekend, so we're all ready to rock and roll. We've already run some armoured cables for it when we changed the fuse board. Initially they were going to go here on some posts but the client doesn't want posts now, he's let us know. So we've got a bit more armour cable than we need. Instead, we're installing over here. We are now going to install it here and by we I mean man like Ellis because he's the uh, superstar car, in car installer. And here is the baby we're going to fit. So as I said, instead of installing it over there, we're now going to put one here, possibly two here. We've got two armors for future. So we're going to whack it up, get our height right, and it's going to go there. I must say, as with anything, their stuff's so well engineered. All their screws on the top and the bottom, completely IP rated. There's actually no hole through. So any screws that go in, completely sealed. They've got seals top and bottom for your cable entry that actually release with a little screwdriver in the side and it releases that solid grommet system. We're going to have our armoured cable going straight into the bottom, earthed inside, glanded off into this L1 neutral. It's suitable for free phase as well but we haven't got this and it really is that simple. It's pretty much just like wiring a fancy plug but it costs you a few quid more. It comes with Wi-Fi so you can track your usage, which is important if you want to claim the grant from the government, up to £350 to the installer. It's a tricky one, the installer grant, because it actually gets paid to the installer. However, you have to submit your installs in once you jump through all the hoops, fill the forms out at the end of every month. After you do that, there is a six, eight week wait to get paid so if you do it at the start of the week start of the month sorry you could be waiting 10 12 weeks to get paid so just something to note if you install 10 car chargers and you've knocked off 350 quid per one for the client because you're going to claim it back that could be three and a half grand you're waiting on for 10 weeks which is you know that's when it starts to get damaging and worrying so we haven't done any yet but I may suggest to a client we will charge them and repay them, refund them when we get it because we just can't afford to subsidise that level of cost for so many people. If it's just the odd few, we can swallow it, but yeah, you just got to be careful. We've got two armoured because we're going to install another one here in future. Ellis is on identifying which one's been brought into the fuse board now. He's going to get it set up, whack it on the wall, test it up for us naturally it's a tt system so it doesn't need any other like pen disconnection or anything like that like some systems do need anyway and see ellis is belling out the cable so i'm going to leave you in your capable hands and as you may have heard my phone has already rung once so i better go do my reception duties sorry geezer sorry sorry, sorry geezer